Hi, it's me, your girlfriend slash boyfriends slash stay friends, or maybe not slash. Maybe you guys are doing a, uh, a polyamorous or a thruple situation. Either way, still your favorite content creator. And we are going to talk a little bit about diversity. And I know, shock of all shocks. Oh, the black leftists are talking about diversity. Yes, because I feel like diversity has been getting a very bad rap when in reality, everyone benefits from diversity. This was originally going to be a comment section video, but I didn't want to do that again simply because a lot of the comments are mostly the same shit. It's, you know, DEI, SBI, something, something I'm dumb because, you know, I don't know the true reason why Gamergate 2 is happening. And actually, it's about ethics or making a gamer or whatever. Who cares? But one through line I have been seeing is that these people are very upset about diversity, yet at the same time praise Japanese games. These people are not from Japan. That is diversity. There's nothing wrong with Japanese games, by the way. I mean, I clearly do have a little bit of appreciation for a Japanese culture, but that is diversity. That is a completely different country with different experiences, different backgrounds, different cultural histories. And we're getting, uh, you know, bits and pieces of it through their media. But that is because of diversity by diversity diversifying your entertainment by diversifying the type of games you play you allow yourself to open up to a wide breadth of different types of games right rpgs western rpgs and then jrpgs a little bit different right different experiences a final fantasy game even the remake is nothing like a fallout right a baldur's gate 3 is nothing like a star ocean or nothing like a like the world ends with you or nothing like um secret of mana nothing like uh oh what was that one game setina's tears like there's no i'm oh, sorry i am setina they're all completely different but that's fine we like diversity we have different genres of games you have first person shooters you have your action adventures platformers walking simulators um simulators in general sports game we have a lot of different genres that is also diversity Stellar Blade, I know, has been at the forefront of a lot of this, honestly, let's be completely real, dumb, stupid ass culture war because, oh man, look at Eve, look at that body, look how hot she looks, which fine, you like that, great, who cares, but that is diversity. Diversity of body types is equally as valid, which is why it's so strange when people get so mad about diversity, because what you really mean is you don't want diversity right you want one particular type of game allowed you want one particular type of body type and one particular type of gender or race or expression to be present in every single video game but there's so many games out there it's insane that you would continuously pick genres or games from companies that explicitly do not do those things like these guys were mad about Aloy, which I, it, it's so weird, but they're mad about her because they don't think she's hot. And it's like, if she doesn't appeal to your sensibilities, then simply do not play the game. Go play more games from Korean developers. They tend to have more of like the Stella Blade-esque type, right? Go play Magna Carta from the same character designer for Stella Blade. Like, go do um, all those things. Play those games. But to be upset that, uh, again, in a wide breadth of genres, that this particular genre has diversity in it and you don't agree with it is wild to me. Like, what does it take away, right? I have played so many games throughout my life that I typically wouldn't have played had I limited my scope. I have enjoyed roguelikes, which I didn't think I would, but that is a form of diversity, diversifying my gaming experience to get overall better games. I also like, you know, Life is Strange. That's a game about two white lesbians who are trying to somehow save the, the city from a giant tornado, which is honestly never explained why it's there, but whatever. I am not a woman, nor am I white, nor am I from the Pacific Northwest, nor to have any of those experiences. But I love that game because I allow myself to enjoy the characters, not because of what they aren't, but because of what they are. Now, I'm gonna have to get a little real worldy for a second, but as a black person growing up in america a lot of the representation i saw on tv wasn't good and i barely saw myself as the hero type you watch like power rangers you get like zach and then eventually you'd get like you know uh tj you would get uh also aisha you would get uh tanya all people to you right but most of the cast still pretty diverse 
but it's mostly white people, which was fine though. My favorite Green Power Ranger is the Green Ranger. Go Green Ranger, he's the sickest. We have grown up, we as black people, have grown up always having to find ways to like characters outside of the fact that they lo don't look like us, right? So connecting to characters, having to experience diversity at a young age has only benefited me because now I can like someone's character or dislike someone's character completely absent of their race, which means I can enjoy the things that they're in completely absent of their race. I feel like that experience has shaped me to be not only a better person, but to enjoy more games. So again, when people tell me diversity is bad, they hate the force diversity. I'm like, what are you, what exactly are you talking about? Do you just simply not like certain types of people? And so when you see them, it's bad. Cause if that's the case, that's a you problem. But also, also there is a wide range of games you can play that will not have a black person or a queer person or a trans person or whatever. And those games exist, go find them. But if you want those types of game to be essentially the mainstream ones, to be the most popular games, that's just not going to happen because that is not reflective of the community as a whole. The gaming community is extremely diverse. Most of the games you guys love, I promise you someone who was not cis or not straight or not white contributed heavily to those games. I promise you. Like, in fact, a uh, Bioware, people were talking about uh, the new Dragon Age and they were upset because, oh, they're going to woke it up, which is crazy because you clearly have never played Dragon Age. And one of the writers is uh, Patrick Weeks, who's been with Bioware for 20 years. And so when they're talking about, oh, the old Bioware was great. We love, you know, Morden from uh, Mass Effect. Like, that was, that's him. He did that. Someone who is um, non-cis did that. And you enjoyed it. There are so many people who work on these games that you guys love that come from a diverse background. And the reason why you love those games is because they come from a diverse background, whether you recognize that or not. There is so much diversity that goes on behind the scenes. We would just want to be honestly to see more of that on screen in this case in the games. But the diversity is there. So when you say you don't like diversity, what do you actually mean? If you don't like diversity, then you shouldn't like Stellar Blade. Because again, most of my comment section are definitely not Japanese, nor from Japan. So why would you like that? That's a different country. That's a different experience. You're also not, but I'm going to say, put on a limb here, not uh, 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 Korean women. Sorry, I said Japan. I meant to say Korea. Uh, you're not Korean women. So why do you, like, why do you like that game so much? When you play Bayonetta. Why do you like Bayonetta? You guys are, if you're not a uh, Japanese woman because it came from Japan, why do you like Bayonetta? If you play these games from different countries, if you play these games from different cultures, why? Fuck. You playing Call of Duty. Are you military? Like, like, do you see what I'm getting at? Like, it's weird to not like diversity, yet most of the games you've played have been diverse in some way, shape, or form. So again, diversity is not bad. Diversity is what makes gaming good. It makes everything good. How many times have you guys complained about AAA games are all being the same? People have complained about that for fucking years at this point. Because homogeny is boring. If every game is now just a first-person shooter, if every game is just, ooh, a live, act, a live service, games as a service, right? If every game is like that, we kill diversity. Because now only one game type exists. You would hate that. But yet you also hate diversity. Do you see how the two are incongruous? How it doesn't make any sense. I, I hope I'm able to explain that a little bit better. I hope you guys understand now. We're talking about diversity. While yes, I personally would love to see more black people, but also more uh, brown people, more women, more trans people, more queer people, more different types of people in larger and larger roles. Side note, side note uh, shout out to Monkey Man for um, having pretty sick ass trans representation. I think that's pretty dope. But like, to have more different experiences, I think that's great. I think it's good. And for the majority of the gaming community, I would say they also agree. But for that weird vocal you know, minority that has been harassing people on the internet relentlessly, being upset that, oh, this game is going too woke. You are being left behind because you choose to be left behind. 
And this anger you guys have towards people that you who look like me, or again, who are queer or just non hetero cis people, the anger you have towards us is wild because we have none of that for you. We're trying to make better experiences. They're trying to make better games for everybody. So more gamers can exist. So more people can enjoy games and you're trying to what gatekeep it. Are you, are you trying to kill the hobby? Are you trying to make it so that like only your type of people can play games? Because again, if that's the case, then you're also going to hate the games that come out. I promise you, I promise you. I did a video about uh, hatred not too long ago, a game that exists specifically to be anti PC. And yet that game came out what 2015. No one talking about it. Why? Because the game sucks because it wasn't good. So like we know from facts, like games that are not diverse do badly. So why would you want that? Look, video games like people run the game. So if you are in a particular mood for a particular game due to diversity, it probably exists. If you've ever gone on Steam, do you know how many games I've, I've seen on Steam that I'm like, I don't know who made this or why this is made, but I guess you know what? There's a crowd for it. There are games on Steam that are like bone Hitler. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to do that. But if that's your speed, it exists because of diversity. People keep acting as if diversity is limiting their gaming experience when it's quite literally doing the opposite. But it has to be on you to explore those kinds of games. This is not an advertisement for Go Bone Hitler, by the way. That's it, it, I'm not saying that. But this is, you know, I guess an advertisement for diversity. There are so many games you can play. More games you could possibly play in a lifetime. So why are you getting hung up if a game has black people in it, queer people in it, or whatever? Your expectations of a game don't necessarily what aligns with reality, right? And you can make the argument either way. And some people are going to be mad at me for this video because like, oh, well, what about, you know, games that, you know, should have these people, but don't. It's like, listen, it's all diversity. I'm still going to champion diversity. I'm still going to point it out when I feel like it's being done lazily. I'm still going to point it out, you know, when game developers talk about specifically alienating a group of people when they could just not have mentioned it. Like uh, what happened in uh, Final Fantasy 16. It was kind of weird, Yoshi P. It was kind of weird. That was that was weird. You remember that? But at the end of the day, I don't have to play Final Fantasy 16. I probably still will when it comes on PC, but like I don't have to play those games, right? I don't have to. I can find games that represent more things than I want. And those games exist because of diversity. And I love it when major companies, you know, put out those kinds of games too, because it sends a strong message. But at the end of the day, if I want to play games that just have like big muscular women uh, beating people up, I can find that. I'm going to put some effort, but I can find that thanks to diversity. I know it exists. I used to put the work into it. Diversity is good. It gives different genres, different experiences, different type of heroes, right? Different characters. Otherwise, we'd all be playing Mario for the, the end of time. And for some people, that might seem really pleasant. But for a lot of people, they might prefer Sonic. They might prefer Tomb Raider, which I guess in Britain they do. Uh, <laughs> but we have different preferences, right? But trying to make it so that only your preference, only your experience should be seen or heard is insane. So to all the people who get mad when, oh, this character should have been uh, white, but now they're black. Why is this character suddenly gay? Why this? Why that? It's because of diversity. It's the same reason why you're allowed to play those billion games with white male leads who are talk like this. That's why you, you know, can have those adult games you find on steam that's why you can have like little mobile games that's why you can have cookie mamas that's why you can have all different types of experiences because of diversity diversity of ideas diversity of body types diversity of fuck music diversity of gameplay styles like all those things exist for a reason it's fucking weird to be mad at diversity i'm gonna be straight up it is super fucking weird what, what again leave it in the comments why do you hate diversity? And for the people who are going to say, oh, they don't hate diversity, they hate forced diversity. You cannot hate forced diversity, but then also be mad when consulting companies exist. Because their job is to make sure that whatever is being put in the game is represented accurately. Just like in books, you have sensitivity and culture readers, right? So they can let you know, hey, this is not how we do this shit. This is not how this would go down. So you don't have to have forced diversity. You'd have accurate representation. So again, Leave a comment if you want. 
why are you against diversity? I would legitimately love to know that. But until next time, uh, watch this video that's somewhere, I'm gonna say here, maybe I put it there, I don't, I don't know. Uh, and like, comment, and subscribe. And if you wanna give me hate view, I don't care. That just helps me too, so.